every March, millions of people fill out brackets and tune in to watch college basketball's finest go for glory. Everyone talks about March Madness, but I'm here to let you know you've been watching the wrong tournament. The NCAA National Championship is great, but the NIT tournament crowns the real national champions. Let me explain. First off, the NIT tournament was actually started first in 1938. NIT stands for the National Invitational Tournament, and this isn't just a tournament for any old team. You have to be specially invited. Think about it. Would you rather be selected by the NCAA to play in some copycat end of season tournament? Being selected sounds like that can just go to any other team. Or would you rather be invited to join a specially curated tournament? I know what I would choose. And I would choose to hit that like and subscribe button if you're liking the video so far. And getting into the NIT tournament is a much more respectable thing. If selected for the NIT, Teams take it with such grace to be selected for such a historic and honorable tournament. Just look at Virginia Tech's reaction right here to being selected for the NIT. Those are claps of respect. Now with the NCAA tournament, look at these reactions. Sure, the energy is fine, but Virginia Tech sure looked like they were more locked in to play for a championship to me. What happened to act like you've been there before? And talking more about teams in the NCAA tournament, how many is too many? Currently 68 teams make the tournament. 68. They're basically letting anyone in at this point. This year a team named Fairly Dickinson made the tournament, and I had to google if they were even a real school or not. Even worse, there are 32 teams that automatically make the tournament for winning their end of season conference tournament. That means all you have to do is win a couple games in a row and you automatically make the quote unquote big dance. Especially in the streaky sport of basketball, I'll take those odds any day. With an easy way to automatically get into the tournament and so many slots, how special is it to really make the NCAA national tournament anyway? It seems the NCAA missed a line from one of the most important movies in cinema. And when everyone's super, <laughs> no one will be. Whereas the NIT tournament gets their selection process just right. They only invite an exclusive 32 teams, so out of the 358 Division I basketball teams, only a mere 10% of teams will play in the NIT. Additionally, the NIT rewards teams for consistent success. Teams that win their grueling regular season championship get an automatic bid to the NIT, which is arguably much more difficult than winning an end of season tournament. So we've talked about the differences in the selection process for both tournaments, but what about the actual basketball games? Well, if you want to see upsets, innovation, and truly passionate basketball played in the basketball mecca of Madison Square Garden, then look no further than the National Invitational Tournament. With an exclusive group of teams, the competition level is so close that anyone can lose on any night. These kids aren't playing for glory, they're playing for the love of basketball. In the NCAA March Madness Tournament, teams are playing for post-game viral moments or NIL deals. Tell me this, would you rather see number one seed Alabama beat Texas A&M Corpus Christi by 21 points? Or watch unseeded Hofstra knock off number one seeded Rutgers at Rutgers Home Arena? Well, I know what I'd rather see. And to top it all off, the NIT holds their Final Four in the iconic Madison Square Garden. It's a legendary place to play and... Oh, well it seems they're holding their Final Four in New Orleans this year, but we're just going to assume that's still in New York, okay? Madison Square Garden is a legendary place to play and worthy to host the national championship. This year, the Final Four is being held in Houston, Texas. That's pretty boring. Madison Square Garden beats Houston any day. And the final and arguably most important reason the NIT is better than March Madness is in its branding. Look at the NIT's logo. So clean and so 21st century. The church stained glass look is so strong and telling us that basketball is a religion for teams in the NIT. This logo is probably one of the best logos I've ever seen, especially in contrast with the NCAA tournament branding. They have two logos, one for the Final Four and one for March Madness as a whole. How confusing is that? This year's Final Four logo is doing its best Star Trek impression. And the March Madness logo is fine. It's pretty simple, but the phrase March Madness was actually stolen from a coach in the Illinois High School Athletic Association. And that the absolute worst part about the phrase March Madness is that the tournament ends in April. The NIT wins this in a landslide. 
So after looking through everything, I think we have a clear superior tournament. I'll give the NCAA tournament credit though. They do have more fans that show up for games for some reason, but these days you can pay anyone to fill events. The NIT tournament is the Superior College Basketball National Championship. Period. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry about my voice. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't notice, happy April Fool's Day.